In a land where almost everything is venomous, there is a creature more terrifying than any snake or spider. An arthropod armed with dozens of powerful legs, uncanny sense of smell, and deadly speed. If Australia's giant centipede is on your trail, there is no escape. My name is Spencer Hoffman. I'm a biologist and filmmaker from North Carolina on the search for the deadliest predators of Australian wilderness to uncover the secrets of how they survive on our weird planet. Today, we're after an arthropod that flies under the radar in the land of the most venomous creatures. And in order to discover its well-kept secrets, I'm headed to a forest in southeastern Australia. This is a story about fear. Somewhere in the shade of these eucalyptus trees is one of the few animals that fills me with dread. Hidden beneath the wiry grass and scattered rocks is a bustling underworld filled with creatures straight out of science fiction. I've got a complicated relationship with centipedes. They freak me out, but that's also kind of why I like them. They're the perfect predators. Imagine this. You're an insect foraging on the forest floor. Maybe you're camouflaged so predators can't see you or you've got fancy colors so most other animals leave you alone. You think you're safe, but in these woods, not a chance. The centipede doesn't discriminate. If you're small enough to overpower and you're in its path, you're food. These animals charge across the leaf litter, their dozens of legs powering through any obstacle in their way. Sweeping antennae pick up the scents of just about every small life form that has been in the area, and the centipede has no shortage of food options. This little glade in the forest might as well be a food court. These arthropods can outclimb you, outrun you, and you can't even escape into a hole or crack. Their flexible exoskeleton means they can squeeze in right behind you and deliver an excruciating venomous bite. And in the land down under, just how dangerous are these venomous centipedes? Oh, centipede. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a chromosepolis. Yep, that's be. the one. Westwood Eye. Little guy. Look how green he is. There he goes. There he goes. There we are. Look at that. That is a really cool little centipede. We're out here flipping for all kinds of nasty, venomous invertebrates. And believe it or not, this is one of them. This is actually the Westwood's Green Centipede, one of the smaller of the Australian giant centipedes. And yeah, you're probably saying, eh, it's not a very big centipede, right? What I actually love about these is the color. Beautiful greens, blues, yellows, and orange. Pretty much unmistakable. And I just love how the centipede clay can be so multicolored. What we're after today has all kinds of different color morphs. They can be green. I think in this area, they're mostly green, but they can be striped. They can be yellow with like tiger banding, like super crazy stuff. And especially here in Australia, part of Oceania, there's a lot more diversity of these colorful giant centipedes when we get back home in the U.S. And this one right here is a perfect example of exactly what I'm looking for. I love how bizarre these creatures look. Let's take a look at the anatomy there. These centipedes had that like armored plating all down their back. But my favorite part is that front of their face right there. Those terrifying looking appendages with those razor sharp needles on the end. They look like fangs, but they're actually modified legs. Over millions of years, the front pair of legs evolved to become more of like a stabbing fang mechanism. And even though we typically call centipede envenomations a bite, in actuality, it's a sting. And the centipede we're after today has the most venomous sting of any centipede in all of Australia. How freaking gnarly is that? The centipedes are the terrifying predators from the myriapod clade. Their name means 100 legs, but very few species ever even get close to that mark. These many-legged carnivores are found across the globe on every continent except Antarctica and have conquered a wide variety of habitats, from your suburban backyard to tropical rainforests to arid deserts. The centipede is an ancient creature, one of the most perfect predators our planet has ever seen. Their strategy for survival has changed very little since the Silurian period, almost 430 million years ago, when the oldest centipedes terrified the terrestrial arthropod world. Primarily living underground, these creatures hunt entirely by smell. Almost slithering through the matrix of burrows and channels and rock and soil, these predators use modified legs, the front of their body, to inject powerful venom into their prey. And any would-be predators. Many centipedes use bright colors to warn attackers of their potent venom. And if you ignore their warning, 
you can be in for a world of pain. The giant centipedes are armed with a myotoxic venom, a toxin that attacks your skeletal muscles, causing painful contractions and convulsions, similar to slamming the affected limb in a heavy door. The centipede seems too perfect to be true. If they're so unmatched, why haven't they become the dominant species on our planet? The centipede has a weakness. Almost like a vampire, the sunlight kills them. Unlike most other arthropods, centipedes lack a waxy cuticle on their exoskeleton. It's part of what makes them so flexible that they can squeeze in and out of cracks, but it's a trade-off. Without the waxy cuticle, the centipedes can't retain water as easily, and that means it's really easy for them to dry out and die if they're exposed. What that means is these centipedes need to stay underground or undercover. So in order to find one, we kind of have to cheat. My host Callum knows a spot with tons and tons of rocks that occasionally produces these giant centipedes. These huge rocks basically hold moisture in that top layer of soil, and by flipping them, we can almost open a window into the underworld where these centipedes live. Like blind, many-legged vampires, the centipede must yield the day to venomous snakes cursed to hunt only under cover of darkness and cool temperatures. Its lifestyle fits its fearsome appearance, the scourge of the underworld. For the most part, people live alongside centipedes for years at a time without ever a hint they're even there. In the case of the Australian giant, its range covers almost the entire continent and is especially common in the more temperate and tropical regions that also happen to line up with all of Australia's metropolitan areas. Rest assured, if you live in Australia, these giants are probably around. But what does that mean for you? In a country full of venomous snakes and spiders, are the centipedes something that should plague your nightmares? So centipedes as a whole are a really diverse group, and most of them you'll probably never see unless you're actively looking for them. They're typically these very cryptic, soil-dwelling creatures that are feeding on small things like termites and ant larvae. But then you've got the giant centipedes, and they are just in a completely different ballgame. Here in Australia, our giant centipede is just straight up, I think anyway, the most fearsome predatory invertebrate in the country. Funnel web spiders, wolf spiders, huntsmen, whatever, I don't think any of them can, can quite frankly hold a candle to a big centipede here. As predators, they are utterly merciless and just really not something that you want to trifle with. They're almost like an arthropod version of snakes. They move about in a way that's just completely unlike any other arthropod and there's a certain level of awareness that they seem to have that I just don't too often see with invertebrates. When you watch them hunt, it's just an absolutely awe-inspiring sight. If they know that there's food nearby, then they will hunt it down and they will not give up. Unfortunately, my mission didn't come to an end on this forest hike. I have never had the best luck with finding giant centipedes in the wild, and this spot was no exception. It's one of those cases where when you look for something for so long without seeing it, you almost don't recognize when you stumble onto it by accident on a totally unrelated night search. The, what is this? Jackson, you know centipedes. Is that Athosumus? Yeah, yeah, Rob, Rob is. That's, that's, I didn't think we'd get one. Holy sh that thing's huge! The giant centipede. There we are. We got him. Okay. Freaking monster. Holy crap. So you wanted that one too? I did. I didn't think we'd see one. It was late, so we decided to keep the centipede overnight and get some rest before filming. That next morning, I set out to the same trail to film the centipede in the morning light and see the behavior of Australia's largest myriapod with my very own eyes. What I got right here is one of the few creatures that absolutely terrifies me. I actually wasn't sure I'd be able to see one of these on this trip. So getting up close and personal with this is an absolute treat. Now off camera, we are trying to get him to like ride a stick. Um, and similar to the Caribbean giants, he wouldn't. So um, we're gonna try something else here. I'm gonna basically work with this centipede as if it were a venomous snake. And it's honestly not the worst idea because this right here is the most venomous centipede in all of Australia. The land down under where the reputation is everything's trying to kill you. This is as fearsome as the centipedes get. Look at that thing move there. They're incredibly fast, powerful, powerful predators. What he was doing last night, he was actually out hunting. They're typically nocturnal. They're coming out when it's cool, when the blazing hot sun isn't on them. Uh, but today it's nice and overcast and it was very late last night that we found them. So we decided to hold them overnight. We could actually get some good light and see him 
just like this. Look at that thing. There is a whole multitude of reasons why these creatures give me the creeps. Number one, look at the speed. These guys are incredibly fast hunters. They can run down just about any other arthropod that calls the forest floor home. And those antennae you can see sweeping all over the sand here are the way this creature understands its world. They are perfect, perfect predators. They don't need eyes to hunt like the wolf spiders and jumping spiders. Those antennae are perfect chemoreceptors. They're picking up the chemical trails of basically everything that has ever crossed this path. And they can tell which scents smell absolutely delicious to them. He's out prowling after dark. It's those delicious scents that he's following to their source. Their exoskeleton is ridiculously flexible. They can squeeze into the tightest of cracks to hunt their prey. And that is why they're such formidable predators. And what they get in turn for having that super flexible exoskeleton is they actually lack a waxy cuticle, which means they can't retain water as easily as other arthropods like insects and arachnids. And that means in the hot sun, in the heat of the day, they dry out. So like an amphibian, they actually have to stay where it's damp and moist and shaded underneath logs, underneath rocks, and only emerge after dark. They're almost like a vampire. The sun kills them and they're these fearsome fanged beasts. Totally freaking awesome. And yeah, they terrify me, but that's kind of what I like about them, right? It's the only animal that I think is just so unbelievably intimidating. That speed, they're also incredibly strong. They're packed full of muscle. Those dozens and dozens of legs they have are also really grippy. They can climb just about any surface, rock, trees. Just imagine if these things were four or five feet long, they would probably even hunt humans. The venom of the centipede is a powerful, powerful cocktail. Some of the most gnarly toxins imaginable. They have neurotoxins to paralyze their prey, attacking the central nervous system. They have myotoxins, which basically disrupt muscle function. This sees up the diaphragm of the things they're eating to stop its heart in its tracks. And they also have all sorts of little cytotoxins that dissolve the creatures they're eating from the inside out. So they can chew it up with their little mandibles, mash it into a pulp, and eat it. That right there is the Australasian giant centipede, Ethnostigmus rubripedes. And look at how monstrous it is. Now the crazy thing is, as venomous as they are, they're actually not super, super dangerous to people. The bite of this is probably on par with some of the giant centipedes I have back home. Very painful, probably some long lasting symptoms. In a really bad envenomation, you might get nauseous, you might get dizzy, but it's definitely not something that would kill you, which actually makes these guys something you wanna have around. This is actually the chief predator of the most feared spider in Australia, the Sydney funnel. Remember how I was saying they like to sniff around the ground looking for chemical signals of food? Well, guess what else is living on the ground? Funnel web spiders. They build their burrows underneath logs and rocks, the same kind of places that this guy is hunting for his food. And that means that they are absolutely on the menu. So if you don't like having funnel webs around your house, these guys might be terrifying, but they're actually something you might want to keep around. Look at how insane that creature is, like an ancient prehistoric monster, but it is another living thing that breathes the same air that we do and that is absolutely wonderful. Since he's getting quite antsy, I think we're gonna let him go right back into the environment so he can go back to hunting for funnel webs. And I think we're gonna get back to hunting for funnel web spiders, and we'll see where Australia has in store for us. Look at that creature. That's freaking gnarly. One of the strangest predators of the Australian underworld. We are still unlocking the secrets of these lesser known species. The Australasian giant centipede is one that is not often filmed in the wild, and this one is a piece of a bigger puzzle. The subterranean world is one filled with biological mystery, and the more I can unlock it, the better I can understand what makes the world's deadliest spider tick. In order to do that, I have more work to do in the deep reaches of Australian bushland, and many more unusual creatures to find. If you want to dive deeper into even stranger creatures of the underworld, check out this video right here. Weirder than even the centipedes is a ghostly white creature that few have ever seen with their own eyes. A creature more primitive than an insect, and a true secret of the natural world. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.